Voyage of Despair tends to get lumped in with the other bad apples of Black Ops 4. I always thought that the map didn't quite get as much credit as it deserves. Today I decided to hop into a game of Voyage of Despair with one goal in mind. To complete the easter egg to prove that it's actually very simple. Today we are playing some Voyage of Despair. Because I like Black Ops 4 Zombies and I'm going to keep playing it. I love sitting back and just recording myself do these Black Ops 4 easter eggs. It's a lot of fun for me so I'm going to keep doing it. Although I know the larger scale zombies community doesn't necessarily love black ops 4 as much as i do that's okay i'll play some other games eventually i still want to go back and go through all of the infinite warfare easter eggs and i want to go and do probably like all of the cold war easter eggs in one video i'm still kind of waiting on that though but eventually we'll get to the other games for now we're doing the voyage easter egg just for fun i put a poll up on my youtube asking what the hardest zombies easter egg was and i'm glad you guys came to your senses and voted for the correct option. I was thinking that it was going to be a lot closer between Voyage and Blood, but 100% Blood is the hardest. Spoiler alert, I do have a ranking all zombies easter eggs by difficulty video coming very soon, probably within the next two days? T two days at most. All right. Don't want that nuke. After this round, I'll go and hit the box a little bit. Oh, you know what? I'm going to restart. I don't have... Oh, my God. Okay, I am back on round four. What I did there was I didn't have PhD flopper on and I really wanted it because I want to use the salvo without needing to, you know, worry about taking self damage. So I just reset my game real quick to put PhD slider on. No big deal. Okay, I'm going to go hit the box. We need three things from the mystery box. We need a Kraken. We need a Helion Salvo and we need homunculus so that's kind of where the rng factor of this map comes in there is always the way to get the free crack in but am i gonna go out of my way to do that absolutely not i think it's much easier to just hit the box every single game like i'm gonna be honest with you i would love decent box rng right here like that would be absolutely lovely well not good box rng okay that's fine we'll keep it going okay i'm not gonna have enough money to get to the end of the boat now so i guess i just end the round here maybe staying in spawn till round five is the better option i'm not sure i got two lmgs right now not exactly something that i really really want i'm not gonna lie all right where's the box at uh, it's all the way in the front that's not fun never mind it's everywhere uh tiger shirt another lmg rampart that's a little bit better. I'd rather have the Rampart than these LMGs. I'm gonna hit the Sentinel Artifact real quick. And then I might as well get... I might as well just run around and do everything this round. Actually, I don't know if I have the points to. Unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I'm completely out of points. I was gonna say it takes a lot of points to open up the whole map. But I guess it is only round five. And I have hit the box like eight million times. So maybe, maybe not. Okay, let's hit the third pack a bunch. And then I need to end the round. Because I'm out of money. I'm just saying, but I feel like Ballistic Knives should one-shot on round six that's all i'm saying at least give me to round six one shotting like come on dude okay, let's go to the front of the ship and i guess i'll drain this water and pick up the part those are the two things i need to do and obviously the packet punch as well all right i guess i can start the clock step right now i just realized uh that symbol is not there all right uh regular triangle is going to be 535 so i'm gonna just type that out upside down triangle is going to be 105 uh upside down with a line is going to be 1105 okay Right side up line is 10, 10. Okay, I'm just gotta enter these in. This goes to 35. Boom. Do that there and that there. There and there. Easy clap. And people say that's like the hardest step of all time. That shit's easy as hell. All right, I will end the round now because I don't have any points. The next step is to check these like little outlets. Oh, okay. So electric is in the back. Also, I still need the Kraken. I still need a Helion Salvo. I still need like all my weapons. Homunculus would be really nice. Okay, I found all my light switches. So now I just have to wait for the different types of zombies to start spawning in. And we could actually start the next step. I forget which round that starts on. I think it might be 10 I'm, I'm actually not sure when the uh when the elemental starts spawning in i tried hitting the box a little bit got a mazu i'm not complaining we love the mazu this is a mazu loving youtube channel if you don't love the mazu you can get out i still want to get dark ether in this game like i'm de i'm determined to grind it one day maybe i'll do it on stream at some point 
Hey, crack it. There we go. That's one of the three things that we need. Let's go. Cool. I'm literally wasting all my money right now on hitting the box. I guess I don't. Well, the only other thing I need to buy really is perks. Well, and I need to get the crack and upgrade it and stuff like that. So yeah, I kind of do need points. Okay, so it's, it's round nine where these guys start spawning. Well, that's good. I just got to bring the water zombie over to this place and kill him here. Come here, water boy. Yo, where's the water zombie going? Brother. Oh, it, 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 I just realized it opened. I don't want to take that teleporter yet, though. You know, I always thought it was weird that you have to enter these portals in a certain order. And the and the order that you have to enter them is so random as well. If you don't know, you have to go poison, water, electric, and then fire. Why that's the order, don't ask me. It's just, it's just arbitrary, and you just got to do it. You know what? I am going to start buying my perks. Even though I don't have my guns I want yet, I'm going to start buying perks. I need to... Where is the part at? I think it spawns over here, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I need to build this distillation kit. So when I kill the next poison zombie, I can pick up his his little his little doodads, if you know what I mean. I gotta extract the poison. Look at that dude in there. He got flies. Look at him. He's just chilling on his typewriter or whatever that is. Okay, I gotta bring my fire zombie in here and kill him in here. Fire one's always one of the more annoying ones to do because they just walk so unbelievably slow. Oh, there he is. Wait, did I kill him? Oh no, he's not dead. There we go. Almost killed myself by doing that. That's fun. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some dying wish just in case I absolutely mess this up somehow. I think that's the smart thing to do. All that's left to do is to kill an electric zombie uh over here at the back of the ship and then i'm pretty much done with this step but i can start teleporting come on okay there we go okay i'm all done i'm all done filling up the electric outlets completely ready to begin the next part of this easter egg there's one thing i never quite understood it's why the blight father just seems to vomit on everything like is that really a necessary mechanic to this map bro i will literally give my life for a helium salvo right about now like i will i will give everything hey thank you thank you so much i love you mystery box you're my favorite. Okay, the only thing I'm missing in my life now are homunculuses. But honestly, I think I'm okay for the time being to go without them. Like, it's not that big of a deal at the end of the day. Okay, this is one of the harder lockdowns that there is on this map. Dealing with, like, blight fathers and stuff underwater isn't exactly the easiest thing in the world. And you, I, I really do need to focus up for this. All right. Uh, shoot. Okay, okay. Get out of my face, please. All right, let's just, uh, let's just, let's just end his life, you know? Let's just hit him with the one-two punch. Easy clap. That's why the Scepter of Raw is the best specialist in the game. All right, let me hit this one. I need to get this salvo upgraded as soon as possible. Why is he just standing there? It's creepy. It's like a horror movie. He's just, like, standing in the shadows, just watching. Bro, what is he doing? I guess this dude just, like, glitched or some shit. Grab this. The only reason that this lockdown is so hard is because fire zombies are literally the worst thing in the world. And when they blow up on you, they do 125 damage for some reason, which I personally feel like is way too much. But that's just that's just my opinion. And on top of that, you got all these like thrashers or not thrashers. What are they called? Why can't I think of what they're called? Big chunky guys with axes. Just call them that. While I was doing the poison lockdown, I should have picked up the the decay for it. So that way I could just upgrade the Kraken now. I meant to do that. I'm just actually really dumb. Now I gotta wait for a poison zombie to spawn. That's super unfortunate. Okay, poison. No. Oh my, there's dying wish. Or just give me the decay. I don't even care. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, we're good, we're good. Convert to decay ammo, 6,000. That's so unbelievably expensive, but it's fine. Now for the most iconic Easter egg step of all time, shooting pipes. I love shooting pipes. Honestly, every single time I do this, I forget where all of the pipes are. Like, it's so hard to, to remember where they all are. I don't know how people do it. They're also random as well. Uh... get that um oh that one uh apparently there's still more i always forget how many there are as well oh there we go i'm not gonna lie usually it takes me a lot longer than that because 
those pipes are in just like the most random places i feel but that wasn't too bad okay the water filled up we're just gonna end the round pack a punch spawns here and pack a punch is set an artifact now all that's left to do is the planet step and then boss fight i just gotta remember where all the planets are it's been too long it's it's, it's been a little bit too long outside of the boss fight itself i would say that the planet step is easily the hardest step in the entire voids of despair easter egg okay gotta grab that and then come up here and grab that come over here there's neptune grab the moon uh this one's i think it's this one's venus right i'm gonna have to get these in order by the time i actually do it this is uh uranus i think that i know saturn is up here uh right here obviously the sun's up here and mercury is right below me other than that what what else what else did i get them all is that all of them? That might be all of them. Th this is going to be the first step where I feel like I really need homunculus just to make this not an actual nightmare to do. Um, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go try to hit for homunculus here. Hey, there we go. First try. Grab a carpenter to repair the shield and we're ready to go. All right, let's do it. Here we go. All right, here we go. Can't mess this up now. Venus is first. Oh, <laughs> apparently i already messed it up so that's fun apparently it wasn't venus first i don't know how i messed up the very first one is venus not is venus red what color is venus maybe i should know the color of my planets mercury is purple okay so mercury is first mercury neptune jupiter venus okay if if you took basic like third grade science you probably would have known that mercury is purple but i am a complete idiot kit go mercury oh no i'm about to go down here ow 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 i'm dead oh thank god i had dying wish neptune is always the hard one to see because it's the only one that moves i guess it's supposed to be a reference to like neptune the god of the sea or whatever because it's like in the sea but i don't know it's always seemed obscure to me <laughs> neptune is just built diff either way i can't hit it okay there we go next up is jupiter uh jupiter I get it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, now is Venus, which is this one. Here we go. Okay, now is Uranus. Uranus is purple, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, this one spawns in... Where's it spawn? Where does it spawn? Right here. There we go. Next up is Mars. Mars is there. And... Oh, no. I just realized I gotta go all the way to the back of the boat. I should have, like, made my way towards there. Uh, I actually don't think I'm gonna make this in time. I really messed up. Yeah, I don't make it. This is so bad. Come on, please, 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 please. Give it to me! No! Dude! The zombies were in the way! I couldn't get it! Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, I gotta restart the entire planet step again. No, I'm so upset. Okay, apparently I just get two shot by a blade father. We love that. We love that. I'm very annoyed now. There was literally no reason for me to shoot Mars while I was all the way in the front of the ship because I had to go all the way to the back. Like all I had to do was like run to the back first and then shoot it. At least I know the order already and it, it doesn't change. Okay, I'm finally back to where I was. Definitely not annoyed or irritated or anything whatsoever. I'm completely okay. I am content with life. Don't you worry. This time I actually shot Mars when I was in running distance to it. I don't know what I was thinking before. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Okay, there we go. Saturn, moon, and then sun. And then we're done. We're Saturn. Um, there's Saturn. Then Saturn spawns right here. Moon. The moon drops right here. Okay, before I shoot down the sun, I am completely out of helium salvo ammo. So I kind of want to like play around and try to try to get more maybe the fire sale two fire cells and a double point <laughs> what no max ammo though if at any point the game wants to give me a max ammo i'll literally like love i'll love bo4 forever you know hey my rng has been really bad at some points in this game and really good at other points okay grab this okay i have homunculus i'm fully locked and loaded to get done with this step as quick as possible here okay i'm kind of flying right now i'm, I'm doing pretty good i'm gonna throw some homunculus because why not i'm almost like halfway through right now problem is i only have eight shots left of a salvo 
I know I get a max ammo fairly soon though, so I'm not too too worried. Honestly, the Kraken kind of melts through this ice faster than even the Helian Salvo does. Kraken's kind of the wave. Come on. Here we go, there's the max. Throw that. And pro tip for you Voyage of Despair lovers, you don't have to go all the way to the end of the ship. You can just shoot the last little crystal from here. Just take it takes it takes a few shots. There we go. Okay, we're ready for the boss fight. And I don't think I need anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade the Helian Salvo the rest of the way up, and then I'm gonna hit the boss. Putting different elemental things on the Helian Salvo never really felt like it did anything. Like I never really understood why the Salvo has different ammo types, but I'm cool with it. I'll, I'll go with it, you know? I'm not complaining. Okay, it's final boss fight time. You know, I'm kind of happy. I feel like I got to the final boss with relative ease, other than a few hiccups for me being a complete idiot on the planet step, and then also me taking an unnecessary down to the Blade Father. Other than that, this has been pretty smooth sailing. Okay, there we go. Boss fight time. Look at these animations. Like, why did they go so hard? RIP the chaos storyline. Uh oh, what's gonna happen? That's my homie to eye, the big giant eye. Honestly, probably my favorite boss fight in Zombies history. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Five stage boss fight. It takes probably like, I don't know what, like 15 minutes in total to do the entire thing. Like it, it's a long fight, but I really do like it. Hopefully I don't mess up. I, I only have one extra self revive. So I really need to make sure that I'm not going down here. That would not be good. I do have dying wish off cooldown. So at least that's good. I love how I, I, I love the salvo. Dude. The salvo just makes life so much easier. I can only imagine trying to do this boss fight without the Helian salvo. Legitimately would probably be one of the harder things in zombies. Without a Kraken or a salvo, it would be ridiculously hard. Okay. There we go. There's the first stage done. Grab the max. We're good to go. Okay, stage two. Stage two is basically the same exact thing as the first one, except it's in like a much tighter space, making it like a lot harder. The first stage is just kind of like a warm up, like out in the open where everything is like super easy. But now is when it actually starts to get challenging. I don't necessarily know the strategy for this stage. Like, is it I, I want to say that the easiest place to stand is like down here, but I don't know. I'm going to throw a Munculus as soon as possible. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Bro, if I would have went down there. I got to remember that I have Tortoise on. Like if I get into a sticky situation, all I got to do is pull out my shield and I'll be completely fine. Only problem is if my shield breaks, there's no way to get another one. Although it does make sense for me to pull it out. I need to kind of use that a little cautiously. I'm gonna throw another homunculus here. The thing is like, yes, it's hard. Yes, there's a ton of bosses and a ton of zombies in like a very narrow space. But Black Ops 4 just gives you so many tools to work with. You know what I mean? Like I have Tortoise. I have Dying Wish. I have, you know, a OP Helian Salvo. I have a Specialist. I have two Homunculus and an equipment to get more Homunculus if I need it. So you just have like so many tools. Like some people complain that Black Ops 4 is too easy because of all the tools it gives you. And some people say that it's too hard because of, you know, how much shit just is like constantly happening. But I think they actually struck a good balance. Like when you compare it to something like Cold War, Cold War gives you all of the same tools. Like they give you armor and field upgrades and all that shit. But they don't necessarily, at no point in Cold War, there are like too many bosses like coming at you or whatever. I think Black Ops 4 is decently balanced is basically my point. I'm not saying it's perfect or it's like ideal, but it's 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 definitely pretty solid. I'm, I would not complain about it anytime soon. Okay, Blight Father. I'm going to use my specialist here, actually. Ow, 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 ow. I'm going to do this. There we go. Wave 2. If you compare Black Ops 4 to like the older games, like the old like Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, like the two hit down system. Yes, you could look at it like in those games, you didn't have all these OP tools to, to work with. But in those games, all you had to deal with was zombies. And it, once you once you knew the exact pathing of zombies and you could just manipulate it to pretty much never go down. You know what I mean? But in this, there's a lot more to like constantly think about. So I, I guess it's just like, however you like, whatever you think is more fun is probably the game that you prefer. Okay, there we go. We're, I'm kind of, I'm kind of cruising now. Again, th this boss fight would be like literally so difficult without a healing salvo. I think I just got to shoot him one more time. Here we go. There we go. Two more waves. 
This one's pretty much the same as the last wave. You just gotta shoot the eye whenever he's shooting at you. That's basically all it is. Okay, there he goes. Throw that. Here we go again. Okay, let's throw another homunculus here. Let's get another one ready. Throw it over there. Here we go. Come on. Easy clap, bro. The, I I flew through that wave. The final wave of this boss fight. I have specialist. I have two homunculus. I have equipment. I think I'm I think I'm good to go. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to jinx it, but I think I'm good to go. Ow. Take this. Take that. Okay. All you gotta do is watch out for his wipe attack. You have to do a bunch of damage to him as he goes to do the wipe attack, which I think it's his next cycle. He'll do the wipe. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I can't hit him, dude! Please die. Thank you. Holy shit, dude. I actually almost choked that. I couldn't I couldn't hit the eye over the zombies that were like trapping me in. Okay, I used my dying wish there, but it's okay. I should be okay. I'm gonna start being a little bit less conservative with these homunculus. I'm gonna just start chucking them. There's no reason for me to be holding them. Okay. Do that. My shield is almost done. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. One more time. One more cycle and he's done. I took it down. Okay. I had to keep things interesting. I always got to take a down in the boss fight. In all of these Black Ops 4 videos. Completely unnecessary downs. I lost PhD Flopper. I need to be careful, don't I? Come on. I'm going to throw another one. Actually, no, not yet. Just hold the, hold the homunculus. I only have one more. Come on. You can die, please. There we go. Woo! YouTube's algorithm seems to think that you would like to watch this video next. Why don't you click it and find out?